Hello everyone. We are doing simulation of most internal master. And in our team we are, we are two members, Jay Kumar and Jagannath. Myself Jagannath. And MOSFET is a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. It was developed in 20th century in the year of 1970s. It consumes a less power and this is a voltage control control device. This is a uni unipolar device as it blocks only a forward voltage. It has a low switching losses and high switching speed. It is in nanosecond. And the structure of the structure of N channel MOSFET is as shown in the figure. It has a three terminals, drain, gate and source. And gate is separated from an oxide layer. It acts uh, it acts like a capacitance uh, directly between P substrate and gate. And this was symbol as indicated as shown in the figure. The gap indicates the formation of channel after applying the voltage. The metal is used for the permanent shorting between source and uh, the body and this is the drain characteristic of n channel MOSFET uh, the red line indicates the load line and the uh, drain current is taken along the y axis and uh, along x axis drain to source voltage is taken for a given MOSFET for a given constant VGS there is a pinch of voltage below pinch of voltage the increase in current is like a linear and after pinch off there is a constant flow of current with the increase in VGS there is a shift in the graph and these are the ohmic regions below pinch off and after pinch off it, it goes to saturation region And that this, uh, this is the transfer characteristic. We are keeping drain to source voltage constant. Vt is the threshold voltage. And these are the this is the symbol of power MOSFET used in simulation. And these are the specifications. VDS is 400. IDS is 10 amps. VGS threshold is 4 amps. 4 volts. Sorry, 4 volts. IDS is 0.55. Um, power distribution is 125 this is, this is a circuit simulation diagram and, and the first one is drain characteristic second one is transfer characteristic and the simulation part is done by my friend Vijay Kumar I welcome to Vijay Kumar to do this part thank you let's draw the drain characteristics of a in channel and as been most of it it is a plot of drain current versus drain source voltage for various values of k source voltage now first let's place some mosfet go to place component in the group select the transistors in transistor select power mos n there are many mosfets available in this mission we are going to use irf 740 mosfet then place it here then from the symbol it's understood that it's an n-channel enhancement MOSFET then place the DC source voltage to change the name and value of this voltage source just double click on it and go to the label in the label I'm going to name it as VGS because it is a gate to source voltage and the value I'm going to give it as a this value of 1 volt then we need a drain to source voltage same way I am going to name this as VDS go to label VDS and the value I am going to give it as 1 volt then connect the ground now let's start connecting the circuit
to get the plot of brain characteristics we need to set up the DC sweep go to simulate analysis DC sweep here we have source 1 I'll take it as the brain source VDS and the start and end value I'll give it as 0 to 5 volts and this is just to give the range and the step size I'll give it as 0.5 volts and since we are using two sources here I'll enable the second source and it is VGS the start and end value are 0 to 5 volts and the increment is 0.5 volt then since we want a plot of train current the train current is nothing but the current flowing through the source VDS so go to the output it is the current because of the train to source voltage so click on it and add it you get it here then simulate it this is the waveform which we have got we are getting the values of current or negative values but actually the brain currents are positive so again go back to the simulate analysis DC sweep in the output just remove the value I of EDS then add an expression before the I of EDS just add negative sign so that we get in the positive direction and just double click on negative and uh, I of EDS and ok then simulate it so this is a brain characteristics of an N channel and aspect MOSFET here you can see the ohmic region these are nothing but the saturation region and this is the cutoff region now let's plot the transfer characteristics of the N channel enhancement MOSFET it is a plot of drain current and gauge source voltage when the MOSFET is operated in the saturation region the same circuit can be used but the only change is that we won't be using VDS the drain source voltage since it does not have any effect on the transfer characteristics so you can delete that just extend this to the top and connect the drain and source together the connection of drain and source together will make the MOSFET to operate in the saturation region to measure the drain current I'm just going to place a probe measurement probe I am going to place it here and here I have V and I but I am going to measure only the current so just double click on it and you can change the name of it instead of probe 1 you can give it as IDS since it is a drain to source current and go to parameters I want to enable only the current so I will enable it then click OK then place it appropriately where you want to place it then in order to get the current just run it once so that you will get the current value and then stop it I got the current value as 50.8 nano ampere to get the plot of transfer characteristics go to the DC sweep that is simulate analysis DC sweep here we are using only one source so that is VGS and the range I will give it as 0 to 5 volts the start and stop value and the step size here I am going to give as 0.1 volts then the output which I want here is the current IDS since uh, the transfer characteristics is a plot of IDS versus VGS then already it is there since we have run the MOSFET once so we have uh, I of IDS then just simulate this to get the output waveform so this is the transfer characteristics of the end channel enhancement to analyze the waveform select the cursor show cursors then this here you can see the cursor here you can see the current increases after 4 volts Hence from the specifications it is seen that the threshold voltage was found to be 4 volts till 4 volts the current the drain current ideas is found to be 0